So we're in here at White Peak Distillery in our Upper Dunwich, a building that was built in the 1870s and it housed uh, the Johnson and Nephew Wire Works. Back in the 1870s, around about 500 people were working on this site, producing various cables, wires that ended up being shipped all around the world. We were one of the first businesses to come back onto this site and to regenerate an absolutely fantastic building. The area we're in, which is known as the Derwent Valley, where in the 17th and 18th centuries, a lot of the cotton mills that were established in England, the, the entrepreneurs and the founders and the innovators came to this region, principally because of the river uh, for use in power and washing cotton and things of that nature. But the people that started the wire works uh, in the 1870s, uh, we believe they came here because there was this installed base of entrepreneurs, of innovators, of uh, industrial know-how. And that actually was a, a large part in why the Wireworks was so successful for 120 years. In terms of the legacy that they've left behind, they were building churches, schools, uh, communities, houses, and you can't help not be influenced by that. What they were doing was greater than the product in some ways. It wasn't just about making a product. They were considered a fair and generous employer. And I think for us, the more research that we did about this place and who's been here before, it really just made sense. You know, this was going to be a great place to make whiskey, another great product, build on that manufacturing base that we have here in the Midlands and in Derbyshire. But also, we wanted to do some community projects. So we do a litter pick four times a year and people attending those litter picks get a share in a community cast that we laid down very early on. We've also done some projects with Derbyshire Wildlife Trust and also Derby Mountain Rescue. We want to continue those aspects of those businesses of the past as well.